Okay, hopefully this will work. <laughs> Hello everybody, uh, my name is of course Brian Downing from uh, quantlabs.net here on my Facebook group doing a, another live presentation unannounced just testing out some stuff this will be recorded for everybody I'll post this on my blog and my YouTube channel and blast it via my email newsletter service uh, I'm just right now experimenting with a ton of stuff and I expect more people to join me later as I get into this presentation, which should be pretty quick, but I can do uh, some questions and answers that you may have. Uh, again, this is unannounced, uh, just testing out some stuff and uh, see what would happen. All right, um, so over the next couple of weeks, what I'm going to be doing is uh, piecing together uh, some details on a Interactive Brokers API Workshop. Uh, this is kind of a, a pretty popular topic since I've been doing this for a while now. Uh, I've noticed uh, there's a big need. I've been doing my uh, live uh, current Python courses since uh, the spring of this year in 2016 in Python. And um, we tried some IB Pi Py, uh, Python package which just seemed to fail fairly miserably so what happened was uh, I needed to get and I've always used the interactive brokers API with uh, Java uh, using their trader workstation which I'll get into in a minute and basically what that meant was um, uh, I am now going to show you the rough schematics of this presentation or the workshop I plan to do. Okay, so let me um, start. So why am I doing this? Uh, the big reason is due to the fact of Interactive Brokers is the number one clean broker out there. Uh, you've probably read some of my information on maybe a couple of books I put out in the last few days or in my videos with international overseas brokers that um, basically screw people and uh, they're the cleanest broker out there um, and this is why I'm doing uh, uh, I'm doing this or choosing interactive brokers um, the other nice thing is with the interactive brokers has a piece of software called trader workstation and basically um, the trader workstation or TWS is um, the ability to connect into their API um, and the API is quite vast. Uh, they cover a lot of universal um, asset classes, futures, forex, uh, options, uh, you name it, stock obviously. So that's the reason why I'm using Interactive Brokers. Also, out of all the languages that they support, they basically support um, major languages including Java, C Sharp or part of the .NET family of, of languages from Microsoft, uh, C++, Excel through their DDE, uh, other languages as well and they also uh, you, you can also run the interactive brokers on all the major operating systems out there called uh, Linux, Mac and Windows okay this is why interactive brokers is so popular among developers and, and traders. Also, um, the beautiful thing about Interactive Brokers that I love is that you can test the entire ecosystem of Interactive Brokers with no need to register with them. So I'm not a client of theirs. Uh, one of the big requirements of Interactive Brokers is you need to uh, fund the account with 10,000 US dollars, which not a lot of people have. So I've never been a, a, a client, a, a legitimate customer of theirs, and I've been able to play with their entire API. Mind you, the data is test data, but it's still enough to work with and play with. But you can't obviously build a real world market strategy with it. So that's the awesome thing about interactive brokers. Whereas like uh, other brokers enable you to give you a month's trial and then you have to start, you know, working with but interactive brokers doesn't have that which is awesome okay um, so 
as I said earlier, I, we just got some new people joining. Thanks for joining. Uh, just so everybody knows, I'm doing a workshop coming up. I don't know when. Uh, and um, the idea behind this workshop, and, and just so everyone knows, this is unannounced. <laughs> and uh, the idea behind this workshop is to demonstrate the ability to use interactive brokers in an automated trading environment uh, with, a, with a program or an application that interactive brokers provide for Java using uh, one of the popular IDEs out there for Java, in my case using NetBeans. There's also Eclipse, but I prefer NetBeans. Uh, so that's what I'm going to focus on. The other thing I'm going to focus on is uh, I'll show some demonstrations on how you can interact with the market data and the orders for execution. Uh, as I said, I've been doing some courses since the spring with uh, a group of, of my Quant Leap members. Um, we've come across that the, the Python option is very weak, uh, and uh, this is the better way to do it. So this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to demonstrate all this live uh, with the Java uh, capabilities on another future day. Okay, so the idea here also that you're not going to get anywhere else is how, you, how to embed a database right into this project that Interactive provides. Uh, so I'll, I'll provide that in uh, code coding samples. Okay, so uh, let's talk about databases. Um, first we have, what databases are we covering here? Uh, so you have basically two classifications of databases. You have the NoSQL, we're fairly new, or the RDMS, relation, Relational Database Management System. Now, factoring that in, uh, I've, I've got a whole section on this described in my Technical Secrets and Algo Trading book, which is free. I just put that up on my website um, in the last few days. So that's free, as I said. You can download it, get more info there. So the, the, the database I'm planning to go with is Redis, which is NoSQL. I'll go on that in a minute. But you can get more information on Redis on my playlist for Redis at my channel at youtube.com slash quantlabs. Um, so again, why am I choosing Redis? The idea behind Redis is people don't know a lot about Redis, but it's considered one of the world's fastest databases on the planet. Uh, metrics include 4 million transactions per second. Uh, it's in memory, um, which is powerful. It supports many programming languages, clients, uh, it also um, is open source, which means it's free. Uh, it's written in C and can be embedded into, for instance, a flash memory environment. The powerful thing about Redis is that um, you're only the performance of it's only restricted by your hardware. Uh, also, the other cool thing about the recent versions, it now has clustering and replication. Uh, features, meaning so when you cluster, uh, for instance, a Redis instance, you can set up different instances of Redis and have them all talk to each other. And again, that can be over a network limited by your hardware. And uh, if one of those instances dies, you can have one of the other, uh, if you're using master and slave, you can have a slave kick in on the fly to be the new master of that cluster, which is very powerful. Now, the thing is with Redis, the only big, big restriction, if you're a Windows person, is not recommended for Windows. With Windows, um, uh, and I'm pretty well moving off of it, uh, just for, as, as I mentioned in various ways, the latency and security is a big concern with the new Windows 10. Um, so that comes back to why am I doing the workshop and, and what makes it different? Well, as you can tell, the number one reason is I want to integrate it with the databases I mentioned, with that code embedded in the interactive brokers uh, test code uh, with the Java. Uh, not only that, uh, the idea behind this workshop is that it's live with question and answers and interaction. Uh, also, I'm going to obviously provide source code, all the Java. Um, and the thing is, this thing will be able to run on all major operating systems, Windows, Mac, Linux 
because the, I mean it's Java, right? Once deploy anywhere, that's the concept of Java. But the thing is here, I want people to understand, I'm only doing this once. Uh, I've got a lot of things on my plate, so I'm gonna do one workshop live, and then record it and turn it into a separate product, which will probably fairly be fairly expensive depending upon what comes out of it. So, as I said earlier, what I need people to do is to, um, I'm running a survey, what I need to know from people that are interested in this, uh, what time uh, is, is good for them to run this, what day of the week is good. Uh, if I was to do this live, obviously I have to do this while the markets are live. I, I would think that most people would want it on a weekend because a lot of people do work. So I'm going to um, basically, um, you know, I can do Saturday or Sunday depending upon if, if people are willing to do that. Um, and what I want is, is I want to see what people are willing to pay for this to do it live because these sort of events, if I do a four hour, eight hour, these, these courses live uh, in, in an environment can run up to $1,000, especially if you're getting code with it. Um, so what I want people to do is I want people to do my survey. It's running right now. And this is where you go for that at surveymonkey.com. Um, and I'll put that link in my blog and in my um, in my blog and, and on my social media and my YouTube as well okay so I think people just dropped off I'm the only one left I, this, again this is unannounced so there's there's no questions that I can take if no one's watching this but that's okay uh, if you got questions let me know via um, my YouTube or whatever comment or whatever and I'll close this out now uh, hopefully, uh, for those that did watch, thank you. <laughs> and uh, let's see, I got one comment here. Um, no. Okay, let me just uh, go back. Okay, I'm doing this on an iPad, so hold on here. Oh, there we go. Uh, so yeah, I'm the only person left. So there's no comments or questions. So I'll close it out now. But if you got a question, just let me know and I'll uh, do it uh, via response, I, obviously. All right. Thanks for watching.